I am going to use Math Playground's factor trees to find the GCF and LCM of two numbers. My first number here is 210. So I'm going to put in factors of 210 and I can use whatever two factors I think of. I'm going to do 21 and 10. That's just what comes to mind for me. And click check. Then for 21, I'm going to enter 3 times 7 and enter check. And for 10, I'm going to enter 2 times 5 and hit check. And you'll notice that all the prime numbers are multiplied or circled so you can see them all multiplied together down here at the bottom to show that these are the prime factors of 210. Now I'm going to click next and I'm going to do the next number 90 because we're looking for the prime factorization of 210 and 90 so we can find the GCF and LCM of each. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 10. That's just what came to mind. You could do 45 times 2. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to do 3 times 3 and hit check. And I see that those are prime numbers because they get circled. And then 2 times 5 and hit check. Those are prime as well. Now I see down at the bottom that the prime factorization of 90 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Now I'm going to get the GCF. So first thing I'm going to do is drag common factors in here. They both have a 2, so I can pick either 2 and I'll drag it in. And notice the other one gets grayed out because we've already used one of them. We don't want to use both of them. They also have a 3 in common and they also have a 5 in common. Now I'm going to take all the factors that are left for, set, for 210 and put it in this left circle and 7 is what I have left. And I can see down at the bottom that 210 should have a 2, it does, a 3, it does, a 5, it does, and a 7, it does. Now for the circle with 90, I'm going to put the remaining factor which is 3. And I can look down here, 90 should have a 2, a 3, another 3, and a 5, which it does. The GCF is going to be the product of the prime factors they have in common. So 2 times 5 is 10, times 3 is 30. So I'm going to type in 30, click check. Sure enough, that was the greatest common factor. Now to find the least common multiple, I'll multiply all of these prime numbers in my Venn diagram. I'm going to cheat and use a calculator real quick. So it's 7 times 2 times 3 times 5 times another 3 which gives me 630. And now you will not be allowed to use a calculator on the quiz or test. And I have all of that correct. So on the next one you can go ahead and try that. So go to this website that's included in this email and see if you can do it.